morning everybody um, uh, yes it's it's morning um, welcome to today's vlog so today's one is gonna be kind of like a little bit of a DIY tie-dye tutorial I'm not a hundred percent sure if mine really came out the way I wanted it to but I still like it and it's it was a super nice kind of like thing to keep me busy with during this time um, so I'm gonna just take you along step by step and then hopefully you can do your own title tutorial as well um, I hope you enjoy this and please subscribe to my channel um, oh, I feel like like I did like a sleek back like I do yeah I did like a sleek back that I usually do when my hair is a little bit dirty but I don't want to wash it um because I don't want to overwash my hair it's a little scrunchy kind of like a snake skin scrunchy that I have in um but yeah but the video does not the video doesn't do it justice I feel anyway my hair looks weird and then yeah let's get into it so first we're going to take a 100% cotton shirt and then we will take small rubber bands and kind of do a, like um, a twist maneuver um, just twist the shirt in little balls and tie the small rubber bands rubber gloves um, I think these are like latex free um, so it's gonna get stained so so just make sure you're happy to throw them away afterwards you will need one small bottle to pour the liquid in um, to mix the water and the fabric dye together um, we use boiling hot water um, to mix a dye with as per the instructions on the back of the bottle. So this fabric dye I initially found on Amazon um, but because they don't ship to South Africa at the moment I found one shop in South Africa that stocks it and obviously I immediately ordered it. You can also add a dash of dishwashing liquid to the mixture I don't know why, but a lot of people have recommended it, so I just added a very, very amount, small amount. I didn't use exact measurements to mix the fabric dye with the hot water. I kind of just did like half a bottle of hot water and then just like, I don't even know, half a cup of dye um, and mix them together. To be honest, just mix until the color seems right as to how dark you want um, the tie-dye to come out on the shirt. Final product. I'm super super happy with how it came out. 
I was quite stressed while doing it um, and especially afterwards because you have to rinse it and give it like one cycle um, in the washing machine like a quick quick rinse um, and a spin if you can um, so yeah after that I was pleasantly surprised that it came out really nicely so I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time bye bye